Hey, it's the Bargain Bounty Hunter, and I have a package. I'm gonna open it up and check it out. Now, let's get into it. All right, so here we go. Now, I wanna preface this video by saying that uh, a couple months, uh, actually a year ago or so, I did a video by on a um, pop, uh, popcorn hot air popper by the company Dash. And that video did pretty well. I got a lot of views on it, a lot of comments and likes. And uh, I recently talked to Dash themselves and they uh, saw the video, they liked it, and they wanted to send me out something to open up and check out and do a review on. So this is what they sent me. I have absolutely no idea what is inside this box. Uh, the gentleman that I spoke with over there, he said, we're gonna surprise you. We're not gonna tell you what we're sending. Just open it up, check it out, tell us what you think. So here it is. I have absolutely no, it's, no idea what is inside this box and I'm really excited about it because I love my Dash Hot Air pop Corn Popper. I use it every single week. I should probably do an update on it because I get a lot of comments on it still. But just so you know, I use that thing every week and I've never had any issues with it. Uh, all I do is simply take care of it. I clean it out after I'm done using it and uh, it has lasted with no issues for over a year and I love it. So now let's open this thing up and see what this product is. I'm so excited. A moment of truth. Whoa, <laughs> a waffle maker. That is awesome and I was not expecting that. Now Dash does have a ton of products. So really I, I, was, I had no idea what to expect. But this is pretty cool. My son is gonna love this because he loves waffles. And I like waffles too. So let's get this thing opened up and checked out. So I don't even know the specifics. I don't know how much this product even costs. But I'll get to that later on in the video when I look it up. Here it is. The Dash Multi Mini Waffle Maker. Makes four waffles. And then it looks like it makes waffle sticks too, which is pretty cool. See anything here? No worries. Enjoy. Awesome, let's open this up. Now I don't have supplies to make waffles right now, but what I can do is I have to go to the store later, so what I'll do is I'll look at the instructions, see what I'm gonna need to make some waffles, and then I can make waffles later in this video. We got a little brochure here. Talks about warranty and leaving a comment. I love that. It's so satisfying when it all slides out in one piece. And I love their boxes. The artwork is fantastic. Look at the inside. Just fantastic. Great quality. We got a nice little packet here that gives us our instructions how to use it. Oh yes. And it gives us some lovely recipes that we can make. Now I'd love to make some of these recipes and in fact I when I got my popcorn popper from Dash it came with a similar booklet that had a bunch of different popcorn recipes and someone left the comment saying, hey, you should go through and make videos making the recipes from the brochure. And I thought that's a fantastic idea. And I put the brochure aside and I cannot find it for the life of me. I really wanted to do that. I wanted to use that idea and make videos making the different recipes and I cannot find the book. So I might have to reach out to my friends at Dash and see if I can get the, the book for the hot popcorn pop, the hot air popcorn popper. So I can do that and make those videos. Got some nice little pieces here, keeping it in place. Some plastic wrap. A regular cord that just plugs in. 
And there it is. So, you know, I used to keep a tape measure in here and it's not in here. So I don't know exactly how big these are, but I can tell you they're not. They're, 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 they're good size. They're not really that small. Makes four. And some waffle sticks. Let's see underneath. Underneath, we just have a little sticker with some more information there. So there is the Dash Multi Mini Waffle Maker. I'm going to, as I said, get some, some uh, ingredients for it, and I'm gonna make some waffles in a few seconds. Let's get to that. One week later. I thought it might be a good idea to go over the safety manual or the instruction manual that came with the mini waffle maker. It's pretty simple and obviously a lot of the safety and reminders in it are going to be uh, pretty much common sense, but I thought it'd be important to go over them because there might be a few that you wouldn't expect. So first it wants us to read this whole manual before we go through. Second, it asks us to remove the packaging. So it's really good looking at it from you've just opened the box. It doesn't want us to leave the unit unattended while not in use. Obviously someone might come along not realizing that it's on or hot and touch it and burn it, burn themselves. Uh, not used for any other purpose. I guess you can't uh, use this if you, if you had some other thing. I don't know what you would use it for besides its attendant purpose, but I'm sure this is just to cover themselves. Um, it warns you that the, the heating surfaces are hot and that they can burn you. So you always wanna be careful when working around it as you're touching the spots that are intended, like the handles and stuff, and not actually the grill part. Um, there's a specific way you're supposed to lift the hood, the, the lid of it while it's on and cooking, and I'll show you that later. Um, you want to make sure that you're not using it around water or anything that can cause electric shock. Uh, that's important because this is an electrical device. Uh, when cleaning it, it asks that you don't use abrasive cleaning agents. So for example, I already cleaned mine just to get it ready for our demonstration for today and I used this sponge, but you can see on the back of the sponge, there's an abrasive part to it. I just simply used the sponge part. I didn't use the abrasive part to do the cleaning. And I just brought it over to the edge of my sink out of the water and wet the sponge with soap, cleaned it all, and then wet the sponge again and wiped it all off and then dried it thoroughly. And that seemed to clean it okay. If the cord is damaged, obviously you're not gonna to wanna to use this because it could give you electric shock or cause malfunctions and things. So you'd wanna make sure that you get it repaired. You don't wanna use this while you're, you're standing in wet water. If you have wet hands or you're working around water for electric shock, there's a number here and uh, it directs you if you have any questions for maintenance or cleaning that you can contact them. And then it says that you wanna use non-metal utensils when um, using this product. So what I have is these products here that are silicone for for uh, any kind of use like this. I use this for, for cooking, for these for cooking. I actually did a review on these. And um, yeah, so that's the kind of thing you'd wanna use. Something that's not gonna scratch the surface of your griddle pan or your griddle. This goes on to talk about how this device is is not made to be used by persons who have reduced physical sensory or mental capabilities. You don't wanna use this near a gas burner, electric burner, or heated oven. Be cautious when moving an appliance containing hot oils or other hot liquids. Um, maybe it could cause a flash fire if you're using hot oils. Um, um. So a lot of this is just boilerplate. Um, Make sure it's completely cold, cooled off before you try to clean it. Obviously, you don't want to burn yourself. Um, if children are near, make sure that you're supervising it while it's running, while it's on. Uh, 
So yeah, and there's a few more that you probably want to read. Obviously it has to read all the instructions and it has all these instructions in French as well. And then it goes into some, uh, some other instructions here, more about the parts and the features. Now this instruction set is the one that I said I was going to show you later. Um, this is how it recommends that you open open the device while it's on. You don't want to use your fingers to, to touch the sides where you might actually touch the griddle part. Obviously that's going to burn you. You also don't want to open it where your arm is directly above the griddle as the steam may come up and burn your arm. You want to do it to the side. So when I do my demonstration, I'll try to remember to do that so we can see how to do it properly. Then here it tells us about the lights and how they work. When it's heating up, it's basically going to be a red light but once it reaches temperature, it's going to switch over to green. There's a handle here that you want to open. And again, you want to open it to the side, not, not directly above the griddle. And then here in this picture, we see how to, um, they use cooking spray. So you're going to want to use some sort of cooking spray um, or non-stick spray for this so that your waffles don't stick in, in the griddle. It shows how to pour them in, and then it shows how to remove them here on the side using, in this picture, a silicone spatula is how they did it. And then there is a little section here in the manual on cleaning and maintenance, which gives you a, a more thorough, uh, in-depth way of cleaning. The way they recommend cleaning it is on unplugging it, make sure it's completely cool. Use a damp soap, soapy cloth, wipe down the cooking surface and cover thoroughly rinse the cloth and then wipe again. Then thoroughly dry the, the multi mini waffle maker before storing. So, yeah. There's a little bit more here too, but you can read that. But that's the, the simple way of, of cleaning. It talks about if there is some stuff burnt on, how you can get that off. And then it says never use abrasive cleaning agents. So, which we went over in the instructions. Here's a little section for troubleshooting. So these must be common issues that people have and how to troubleshoot them. It has the issue and then the solution. And then it gets into a recipe guide. The recipe guide has a bunch of different waffles. I mentioned earlier that I might make these waffles, but today I am going to make the classic mini waffles. So that is what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go to actually making some waffles and seeing how this works. All right, the best part. Now we get to make some waffles and see how they are. So it, I have all the ingredients out here that I need for these classic mini waffles, which is flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, an egg, a cup of milk, and some butter. I also need to get my cooking spray, which I tend to use Pam, so there is my cooking spray. So what we want to do first is we're going to put our dry ingredients in a mixing bowl, which is one cup of flour. And let me get my measuring cup. One cup of flour. I have my flour right here. My work surface is a little small with everything on it, but we'll make do. Now it says to, in a medium, bowl, sift the flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt together. I don't know exactly how to sift or what that even really means. So I'm just gonna put it all into one bowl and uh, do my best. So there's my flour. My cooking surface can be filthy. I'll clean it later. Then we want to put a tablespoon of sugar. I have my measuring cup here. This is just granulated sugar. Right there. Put that in. baking powder. Now this we only need two teaspoons. So I only have one that does one teaspoon so I'll just do two of them. There's 
ajuste. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, which is the lowest. No, this is it. Yeah. Go a little lower. This might be a little tricky, but I'll try to pour it in. Sure. There we go. Don't need much of that at all. So those are my dry ingredients. They're all in this mixing bowl. I'm gonna take this here and just kind of mix it all in together. My dry ingredients here. I don't know if this is how you sift. Probably not. I think a sift, the, the sift is actually a uh, a piece that you just spin, you put all your dry ingredients and you spin and it sifts it out, but I don't have one of those. So I'm just gonna try to mix it all together as I can in this medium bowl here. So there's my dry ingredients. Now it wants me to get my wet ingredients ready. And the wet ingredients are my egg, a cup of milk, and two tablespoons of melted butter. So what I'm gonna do is my butter first. I already cut it. It had nice little marks that told me where the tablespoon marks were on the outside package. So I'm gonna put this right in here and I'm gonna put that in the microwave for like 30 seconds. To get that melted. Now in the meantime, I have my milk right here and I have a cup here. So I will get a cup of milk. Splash more. So there's my cup of milk. And there's my butter. All nice and melted. Now, the instructions say to put whisk, egg, milk, and melted butter in a separate bowl. So that's why I have this. I'm going to put my, my milk in there. I'm going to put my egg in there. And I'm going to put my butter in here. And I'm going to whisk this as it passes. Now, I'm not a professional cook in any way. I'm just a dad that has made his way through life by being able to read instructions and recipes. So I don't know how much whisking needs to be. It doesn't say you gotta whisk it that much, just whisk it in a separate bowl till it is mixed. So I would say that is pretty good. Now, my dry ingredients here. It asks me to add my wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and mix until incorporated. So that is what I'm going to do. Pour them into my dry ingredients. And mix. I guess I'll use this to mix. I'm gonna keep this going in real time. If this is uh, boring to watch me mix, then just fast forward a little bit because in a few minutes, it should be all done. Get all these dry ingredients in there. I don't want to uh, 
have any pockets <laughs> of dry ingredients, so I'm really trying to mix it well because you don't want to be biting into your into your waffle and get a nice pocket of dusty flour and sugar and salt and baking powder. But this is looking to me to be pretty close to being done. So after this, it wants me to grease the multi mini waffle maker. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause, clean up this area so we can actually see what's happening here. Moments later. And through the magic of video, I'm back and I have a griddle that is ready to cook on. So I uh, cleaned up my area and while I was doing that, I plugged in the griddle. It probably took about five minutes for it to reach temperature, for it to switch over from red to green. But uh, that gave me the time to do a little more prep work, get some things ready. And here, I'm going to now spray it with some Pam and make some waffles. So, um, this is the way they want you to open it, from the side here, like this, so that the steam doesn't rise up and burn your arm. I got myself a spoon to hopefully be able to get a little bit more batter instead of this little thing that I use for mixing. But first I gotta remember to spray the surface. Again, I am not a professional. Now, I'm just gonna scoop a little bit into the spoon and fill these little mini waffles. I have no really, I'm not really sure how much to put in. I might be putting way too much in, but we'll learn together. This is the first time I use this, this machine. Now I've made waffles before. Um, my mom actually has a waffle maker, not a Dash brand. I forget the brand that she has. But it makes full-size waffles. This is meat waffles. And I'm actually gonna put some in here to try out these little waffle sticks. Hopefully I didn't overfill. We'll find out. Let's close the lid. Now, in the instructions, I looked and I could not find any place where it said how long to cook them for. So what it basically said was to, till it reaches your desired um, color or golden brown, I guess, whatever the waffle color is. So I'm just gonna kind of monitor it and play it by ear. I'm guessing it's probably only gonna take five minutes, maybe less, but let's see. I'm gonna keep you with me. I may fast forward time a little bit, just so you don't have to stand there watching me watch this cook. But uh, yeah, I may have overfilled it because I have some coming out the sides. So my guess is I put too much in. How does it look on the other side? The other side doesn't look too bad, but on that side, there is definitely some some waffle mix coming out the side. So I guess you live and you learn. You don't put as much as I put in. So it has actually gone back to being red on this side. So maybe, just maybe when that thing switches back to green, it's gonna be at the right right uh, amount of time, we'll have to wait and see. It looks like it's gonna be a huge waffle. <laughs> I think it all just overfilled its little holder and has run into each other, but that's okay. I'm, make, I'm making one waffle for myself. Is 
you can see, that one batch of batter has given me enough to fill all the spots in there, maybe a little too much, and I still have some extra. And as I was talking, it just switched over to green. So let's check it out. I'm going to try carefully not to steam myself. Oh. Those look done. So this one and this one, actually the part that overflowed was I filled these, these, these side pieces a little bit too much on this side here. But the ones in the, in the middle, they actually look perfectly fine. So I'm gonna, actually I'm not gonna unplug it because I to make more. So I'm gonna, oh, it just kind of pops right out. It lifts right out there with this little spatula I have. And there is your waffle. Trying to scoop it out with this. This probably wasn't the right utensil. Oh no. At least it's not too hot. I was able to grab it. These pieces here. That is a lot of waffles. These are mini waffles, but they are not that many. There's plenty of food there. So let's try them out. I'm gonna unplug this just for now. Seeing that, I'm gonna try them. Now, that is a healthy, healthy helping of waffles. Made four mini waffles, two waffle sticks. This is not the presentation that was in in the the uh, in the recipe guide or cookbook, but that's because I'm making them and not someone who actually knows what they're doing. So in the in the in the recipe guide in the um the cookbook, it said to put some berries on top. I didn't have any strawberries, but I had some blueberries. So let's sprinkle a few blueberries in there. And being that I live in New England, I had to get some real 100% maple syrup. You cannot not have a maple syrup if you live in New England. So let's see here, I'm gonna put a little bit on here. Try them out. You get a blueberry in there. There you can see the inside is cooked perfectly. There is no uh, wet ingredients still in there. It is completely cooked and not overcooked. Fantastic. Great recipe. I would say it's not overly sweet. You pick up the sweetness from the maple syrup and the berries, but the dough itself is not super sweet, which is nice. Mm. Very good. Very, very good. That is the the recipe for the classic mini waffles in the pamphlet, the little cookbook recipe guide that the Dash multi mini waffle maker makes or gives very easy instructions and very tasty waffles. Next, I'm gonna finish these off camera. Moments later. All right, so now then I've made waffles and I've gone over the instructions of the waffles and I've unboxed the multi mini waffle maker. I'm going to give you my review now. Um, I didn't go over cleaning. I was going to video cleaning, but um, it was, it's really easy. All you do is you take a wet um, soapy sponge or um, 
pipe paper towel or towel, nothing with abrasives, abrasiveness, and you, so, you put, you, you know, you, you scrub it, get all the soap on there, and then you wet it up, wipe, get all the soap off of it, and then you just sponge it off or towel it off, and then you dry it thoroughly, and it's clean. You want to do the same thing for the outside. You do not want to run it in the dishwasher because it's not dishwasher safe. You just want to use a, a sponge or a, a paper towel or a towel. Now my review on the Multi Mini Waffle Maker. It is $49.99 on Amazon and directly from Dash. Um, it, is a prime, it is a prime item, so you can get it shipped pretty quickly. And it is easy, very easy. Um, I, I was a little confused as to the lighting system and how it was gonna work, but basically if it's red, it's heating. If it's green, it's ready. So it, when you plug it in, it's gonna be red for about five minutes maybe, and then it's gonna switch over to green, you put your mix in. You close the lid, it's gonna go back to red again for a while, but when it turns green, you can open it up and it's ready to eat. Waffles, I felt they are mini waffles, but they do make good sized waffles. I didn't feel like they were that small. They're not you know, the size of a regular plate, but they're smaller. But four of them is, is filling. The sides for the donut, the waffle sticks, I that's where I had some overfilling issues. These, when I filled the waffle cups here, no issues with overfilling. A couple of them I maybe even have been able to fill just a little bit more. But these, wa these, the, these waffle sticks, it was hard to figure out the right amount. Um, the one on this side actually overfilled, flowed. Now that that is probably just a, you know, you get the, the feel for it over time. But I'm not really a waffle stick guy, so I probably won't use the waffle stick part too much. But the waffle part, yes, I'll use those regularly. I think my son will like these waffles. Um, so overall, it's a great product. Cleanup is easy. Um, making the waffles is easy. I know that there's waffle mixes that you can buy at the grocery store. And I imagine that if you make those and you put them, it would work just as, as fine as making the waffles from scratch like I did today. But that's up to you, uh, whether you prefer a boxed waffle mix or making them from scratch. I made them from scratch, but I'm sure the waffle, the boxed waffle mix will work just as good. Um, so yeah, overall, I think it's a good buy. $49.99, you can make four waffles at a time. That one batch that I made, made six waffles and two waffle sticks. So um, I made a good amount. It, would, it was enough to uh, feed me and then I gave some away. Good product, $49.99 Amazon product. You can get it directly on their Dash website. In my description of this video, I will have a link to the description to uh, where you can purchase this on Amazon and on their website. Um, if you do buy through the Amazon one, I actually uh, will help me out. It helps me make these videos. So thanks for watching and enjoy your summer. And I hope you get to make a lot of waffles and I'll talk to you next time.